Mackenzie Critiques, the Mackenzie Dick Rides of Your Anime. Welcome back to another live reaction of Attack on Titan Season, Final Season, Episode 3, or this is Episode 78, the whole scheme of things. Attack on Season, sorry, Final Season, Part 2, Episode 3. It's just a weird naming scheme. Calling it the Final Season just fucked up. We call it what? Fuck it, I can't be bothered, but let's get into this. I have it on good authority that this week's episode is really good. People, I actually forgot that this episode had dropped. It, it, it's funny that we've been waiting a little while for Attack on Titan to come back. But now each week is going by really, really fast. Each episode is cropping up really, really quickly, which is great. Which means we can get through it. This is why we wanted Jojo back weekly. You know, that cadence is good. One episode a week. Let's get into this. Attack on Titan final season. Part 2, episode 3. Come on. This is such fan service for the Eren stance. Coming for you. <laughs> is that what I say? Coming for you. Right? I never wanted to be the king. <laughs> this such, it's so edgy. It's so fucking emo edgy. Let's see how this week's episode goes. My issue is, like I said, is that this season, you know, is going to be super action packed. What more can they, uh, what more drama? Human drama, can they add to this? Like, what new developments are there left? All the big plot twists are done now, in a way. I'm sure they're going to pull some fuckery. Like, you think that this is the final uh, battle for to conclude things, you know? But there's got to be more to it. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Two brothers, interesting. Zeke and Eden. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. This is like I was saying last week. Don't let the two boss bosses get together. Some shit's gonna happen. There's FF14 uh, boss fights that are like this. Damn it. Oh, man. <laughs> His arm is off. <laughs> Love it. Star Wars tradition, somebody always loses an, loses an arm. Oh, wow. The thing with Thunder Spears is they're now having to split split the use of their thunder spears between human enemies and titan enemies fucking spread thin fam like a couple could take down one big titan but having to use it for groups of enemies man wasting that ammo fam I don't see I don't see the the draw of Yelena. She never scared me. No matter what Armin said, it's not a scary character.
Man, Ryan is just holding it down right now. And to be chosen as a woman. Take my brother. Oh no, the scream. Oh fuck, fucking Falco. In this map. Oh, they made it in time. What it, one the cost of one person, like for the many, he's gonna make that call. Does he risk not doing it for one person for his plan? He knows that's all he has left right now. He's fucked. He's damaged. Fuck, you know. This is about sparing the next generation. It's, it's almost symbolic, metaphor, whatever. The next generation. Do He's not going to spare one for the many, I feel. It's a shame. Yep, I, it's one person against the grand ambitions. The decisive battle. Like, ah. Man. Dude, look at this direction. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Who did done for parodies? <laughs> Love it. Oh, man. It's so weird. Like, this is where we began, man. The music. Dude, we're getting season one vibes up in here. The terror is back. Bloody hell, oh man. It's so fucked. I think characters we knew like this. Like, you think that they'd get us used to this now after the big reveal colossal titan, diamond, uh, female titan, armored titan, but it's still fucking monstrous. Oh god, that was a money shot. Fuck, man. No offense to Falco, but you can deal with Falco. Keep fucking Aaron down, man. What? Fuck it now. Dude, look how fucking angry he is in there, man. Ooh. 
<laughs> Look at these shots, man. You can tell they're getting the manga shots down. Even if it isn't with, like, Sakuga level. Looks so good. That was the shot. Dude did it. So I do the hardening on my nape, I'm done. Dude, this shot. This fucking shot. Dude, with the armor. That's what they wanted. But not like that. going on Galiado wait no for the military to make you allow this war and protect me Fuck it Like, how can you not be with... Oh, shit. <laughs> Bloody hell. Like, the way they framed it, how can you just not be with these guys? Like, after, I, I understand what fucking he did, what Zeke did. He can't, he can't, like, risk everything for one kid. But I'm with fucking, I'm with fucking uh, Reiner and freaking Garby and It's hard decisions, and no, there's no good decisions to be made on the battlefield here. Do it, Gabby. Just do it. Do it, Gabby. Gabby's got the the fucking sniper rifle. There are no right decisions right now. <laughs> are you kidding me? But, oh, the Usually an episode ends and I'm wondering where the fuck the time went. <laughs> Headshot. Road to hell is paved with good intentions, fam. To see. Bloody hell, man. Two brothers born on either sides finding this the only compromise, the only solution. It's 
it's just a shame. Like this is the, the, the was their only recourse. Dude, look at the direction. They're doing they're doing a lot with a very little. That's what I appreciate. I know some people are gonna complain it's like still frames moving, but it's this direction is what counts. This is like a motion comic right now. What's happening right now? It's like your life flashing before your eyes type moment. Dude, was this in the manga? Was this in the manga? These frames. No way. That's amazing. This is the coordinate thing. Zeke said that he felt like he was on the other side. Coordinate where all paths converge. What is this thing? I've been wondering for ages. Feels like you've been waiting years for you to recover and wake up. Dude, are we going to have a time skip? We succeeded. Tell don't show, eh? Oh shit, Ymir. Do we... Did they go into the details of the disdeviled figure that she did deal with? It was depict her as making a deal with... She built my body with this earth and brought me back to life. She makes titans. The time has come to fulfill our dream. So only you can move freely here. Okay. Too much power, isn't it? I just realized the baseball shit, Kaseva, definitely did it with the uh, Aaron. What's going on? Is this how they they do the sterilization? Did they know this is how it would be done? Zeke would knew. There's no way in hell I'd go along with such a messed up man. Like, how would he have known if no one's ever been here until now? Only playing along of what is this happening? What's his. Dude, is he. 
But is this going to mean that he's going to exert his dominance now? He's all for the rumbling and everything. Fuck. Not that I was for that, but born in this world. I wasn't even for the sterilization plan, but this. <laughs> Blacked. Black. Father's brainwashing again. Learned many things. Okay. In the mind numbing time I spent with the founder. Okay. Is a slave no will of her own? I've attained the founder's power. Now he's just giving away his fucking plan. Your true feelings, yep. I need somebody to save you too. Fix him. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Dude, that is a lot to dump on us. What's going on with Ymir? She's nothing but a follower to those with raw blood. What does that mean? I've always been curious about Ymir and this deal she made. Like, What is going on? She looked blind as well. I'm, unless I missed something from previous seasons. Dude, what is this? Like, I, I have to understand the coordinate, where they are, like metaphysically, and then now, how will they manifest? Like, nothing just comes out of nowhere in this world. What's going on right now? Are they stuck in some sh diamond shell like Annie was or some shit? Like, what, what's the, the deal right now? Okay, we'll see next episode, but one, let me wait for this song. This is where we'll get all our answers. This is where we'll get all our answers. Whoa, were they back? They actually back into memories of the future. I, I mean, I, I know it works. They can travel back and forth in the coordinate. We saw that with um, the. Uh, Fucking attack titan, owl guy, first attack, the guy who, who, his dad got it from, attack, so we saw that, that they know of things about the future and the past and they can travel back and forth, but, how, is that, how does that manifest, like how do they interact, I'm trying to think who, who would have, they would have been.
back then. The old, um, like, how can they change? Is it just memories? They're going back. Is, is this like ghost to Christmas past situation that's going to happen? Where they're going to take a trip through history and see how things really were to find out the truth. Like jumping from memory to memory to memory to try and piece things out. Come to us like, how? How does this manifest? It's crazy. There's a lot to dump on us. This stuff. I mean, it's. I'm not saying it hasn't been teased or set up. But it hasn't been teased or set up in a dramatic way. The last time we heard about the coordinate was, was literally the... The stuff um, back to the, the, when thing was alive. He was getting like he was, they were about to um, inject them with the spinal fluid, turn them to titans, and push them off the wall. And then uh, the owl I forgot his name. The attack titan, um, Kruger, was that his name? Not Kruger. What was the guy's name? They t he took his name, didn't he? So, it, yeah, I'm gonna have to see the next episode to see how it works. This better not be some bullshit, bullshit Deus Ex Machina they pull in. And and it, Aaron was like deceiving everyone all along. He had to deceive everyone. I kind of see that now. He had to push everyone away to for for the deception to be believable. Uh, I depends on what these characters do. I feel like it, if depending on what these characters do, it will betray what they stood for. It would completely betray what these characters stood for. I feel like just being stroppy and emo doesn't count as development. Like just because Aaron's been trying to decept and push everyone away so he can reach this moment without anyone suspecting his motives and that kind of thing. But there's something more to it, man. There's some more stakes in it involved than than I know already. There's more to it. Like, I feel... I feel he, uh, Aaron almost needs... Uh, it uh, Needs it in perpetuity for some reason. Like, it, somehow it doesn't matter to him. Sterilization, ending it doesn't matter to him now. Don't know why that is. There's something more involved and it's not his friends. There's definitely not his friends involved. There's more... There's some, got to be something more to Aaron's motivation. I've been wondering what the motivation was... In the first part, I, I wanted to put it down to everything he went through, and him saying, "Look, to spare the future generations the horror, blah blah blah." But now, he, like his plan is, no, I wasn't with you. I was just here to trick you. And and Aaron only just, Aaron, Aaron only just woke up. So, did did um. Did uh, what's his name? Uh, Zeke put himself in chains to make it look like um, Zeke was helpless. He tricked him to to giving away his true plan. Smart, smart of Zeke. Honestly, it is. But um, how is it? They're both. They're both. Um, Zeke has the founder's power. What, they can fight each other back and forth, right? This could go on forever. They're both two gods in this plane now. With the founding... Founding... Like, see, they, they, like I say, they didn't show. They only told. They go, we succeeded. So, I don't know. Next episode, we'll find out, man. That was a great, great direction. Put on a lot of heavy stuff there at the end. I'm trying to understand it. I'm sure we'll get the answers. There's still the bare episodes left in the film, so thank you guys for watching. I really love that episode. I think that was the highlight of the, the three, only the three that are here so far. But I really love that episode. Love the direction. They did a lot with very little. Peace out.